800 reenactors are showing up from both sides at the Lady Farm here in Stravan Township. This is a day to set up the campsites basically and chill out uh, before the shooting starts. The first big reenactment battle set for tomorrow. I'm with a group of union reenactors from New York State and uh, this particular unit is an artillery unit. Some of these guys and women reenactors have a family history to the Civil War. Some of them have ancestors who fought and died for the cause they believed in. Joining me right now is Christopher Nelson of New York State and uh, you are in this infantry unit and I know you've been waiting with bated breath uh, for this big weekend for a long time. Yes, we've been looking forward to coming down here basically since last year's season ended and it's it's fantastic to be able to bring our artillery piece down here and and represent and respect the men that came before us I mean, on you, these you fields. You love the history. Don't oh you? yes, we do a lot of research to find out what type of foods they ate, what type of clothing they wore, Two how they did different things. For you. First of all, what about the heat? Everybody's wondering about the heat and what it's like. The heat is definitely there. Uh, we're going to be drinking lots of water, which means we have lots of chances to go to the restroom, hopefully. And we're going to keep an eye on each other and make sure no one's going down. And do you eat hardtack? I have had hardtack in the past. Uh, I probably will not have any this weekend, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it's very good as long as you dunk it in your coffee while it's still warm. <laughs> That's a really good answer. Okay, uh, this event, this weekend celebration, part of the 159th anniversary celebration of the Battle of Gettysburg, and tourism officials say that this is going to bring in $20 million into the local economy. In Gettysburg, Ed Weinstock, WGAL News 8.